Hello everyone. Today I'm going to bring you a short demonstration about the newest innovation in Bowling League secretarial software, Automatic Evelyn. Automatic Evelyn allows you to create a website for your league with no webmaster experience whatsoever. I'm going to sign into a beta test league that I've created just to give you an example of how Evelyn works. Uh, I've already created the sign-in for this league, so we'll just go to Already Registered. And this is where you're asked to enter your username, so I'm going to put in my username and my password. Click Sign Into Your League. And then it says, you have successfully signed into your league, the White Oak Major League. Click OK. So that's what we'll do. And it just brings, you, brings up a very plain, basic menu, which is by design, because uh, you want something to be, you want it to be as simple as possible. No hidden drop-down menu options or anything to worry about. So. It shows I've put in 33 weeks already. The options you can work with are modify team names, player info, or the schedule. You can, you can add substitutes. You can rearrange the team lineup or switch players. You can enter your scores or you can build your website. For now we're going to enter scores. And is select a worksheet to work on. If you'll notice it says week 33, 3 versus 11. The teams or the matches in green have already been entered. I intentionally left 1, week 33, 12 versus 7. Left that one uh, blank for our demonstration purposes or not inputted. So I'm going to click that now. Click the submit button and it brings up the next screen. There's a uh, validation box here. Click here to activate worksheet just to make sure that you are on the match you really want. If you'll notice it says Team 12 versus Team 7. And if you scroll down it's color-coded. The opposing teams in orange background. First teams in green. So we'll click box to activate the worksheet. And you'll notice that the text boxes have now turned white, so they're enabled. This was designed on, or well this is viewing on a 27-inch uh, monitor. It probably will look a little different on a normal screen, but everything will still look the same. And if you'll notice, there's the roster. Handicaps are pre- filled based on the two teams that are in the league. So Team 12 is getting 10 handicap. This league is an 80% handicap based on the difference between the two team averages. If you click on the handicap box, it shows the average for each player, team total, and the opposing team, team total. With it being an 80% league, you the difference is 13 and handicap 80% of 13 is works out to 10. So that's why the 10 is there. Disregard these numbers. They will change as soon as you start entering scores into the text boxes. This is a seven point system league where there's two points for each win and one point for the pinfall. So we'll start with Dennis Schiavo going to put in his first game was 118. He had two spares. You'll notice know, score, spares, and strikes. He had two spares and one strike. Second game, I used the mouse just to show where we're going with each data input, but it's much faster to use the tab key, which I will do now. His second game is 97. 
one spare, no strikes. Third game, 146, five spares, one strike. Hit the tab key, it comes down to Debbie Downs. 146, three and two. 142, five and zero. 125, two spares, two strikes. Then we go to Mario Marinucci. And I'm just gonna go through these scores quickly since we're limited on time with our video. Chris Ashworth, 118. And you get done with the first team, and that's... Notice how it totals all the uh, series, spares and strikes, and the team totals. So when you hit the tab key, it'll jump down to the next team, Danny Webb. It's on team 7, so I'm going to bring the team into view better. So we'll go with Danny Webb. He had 111 the first game. Two spares on a strike. 98. One spare on a strike. 123. Two and two. Gary Hammond. 109. John Davis Jr. He was absent that night. And they used a sub by the name of Tony Zangla. If you'll look over here, you'll see that there's a sub list. They're alphabetized based on first name or the first name that you've inputted. You could input them last name first if you want. So the sub they used was Tony Zangla. If you want to put him into all three games, you just click for the John Davis row. Go over to the apply subs to game. Games 1, 2, and 3. So you just click each game. And hit the accept button. If you'll notice the handicap changed from 10 to 12 because the original bowler, John Davis Jr., was 142 average. Tony Zangler, if we click on the handicap, is a 144. So we'll, that's what accounted for the difference. So it changed the handicap from 10 to 12 since there's a difference in team average of now 15. So we'll put in Tony's scores. And then Mindy. So we've inputted both teams. It assigned the wins and losses based on the higher score for the team total. You'll notice 521 is higher than 519, so the two points goes to the higher team. Second game, Team 7 had the higher total. Third game, Team 3 did, and pinfall was tied in this particular case. And when they roll off the tie, you will have to override. If Team 12 won the roll off, you would override it and give them one point. If Team 7 had won it, you would click the override down here and give them the one point. So we'll click Save Worksheet. It says Match Saved. So now all matches are green. And we'll go back to the main menu. Now we will build our website since all the matches from week 33 are entered. So we'll, we're going to update our website, actually. But this screen, you'll notice the first box here. Select the week to process up through. Defaults at week 33, but if you want it to actually generate a report for any week throughout the season, you could choose any week you wanted, and it would, it would update up through week 30 or 31 or whatever. Select a print style for your hard copy sheets and printouts. Automatic Evelyn actually creates a hard copy for you as well as a website, which I will show you that upcoming. Over here is a sample of each font style, Times New Roman. If you click Arial, it looks different, so you can sort of see how the print will look on your, your hard copy. Let's try this tri MS Tribution. Trebuchet, maybe they say. 
and we'll let's say we've completed well that's all we want to do really so we'll hit begin processing you selected this font style up through week 33 click OK so now we'll wait about uh, anywhere between 5 and 10 seconds and it's completely updated the website for your bowling league in this case the White Oak Majors. We'll click OK and I will open up another link so that we can look at how the web looks. I have a lot of test leagues in here but uh, the one we want is White Oak Major League. It gives a nice little backdrop of a bowling image on a lot of its pages. So the White Oak Major League, it also has a mobile site which we'll explore shortly. Let's go to the individual statistics and we'll go to this has got uh, various categories that were selected during the setup of the, of the league. Games, pinfall, spare strikes, high game, high set, average. This was the score bowl last week. If you'll notice each person in the league has a hyperlink. Let's uh, go to Mindy Hammond since that was one of the ones we recently put in during our demo. Remember she had 161, 179, 118. We'll click on Mindy, score, for her name, and it shows her breakdown for the entire season. She's bowled 93 games, got this much pinfall, this many spares and strikes, shows her low game of the year, low set, as well as the high game of 216 and high set. Shows the worst spare total, best spare total, kind of a coincidence, her best pins over average is 72 for game and for set. Another interesting feature about this Evelyn is that you can go to charts and graphs. Say you want to uh, look at the breakdowns for the year for Mindy. You click on the 2D pie chart. It shows what uh, percentage of her entire season, which is what the circle represents, each uh, range of games she bowled. So in this case she had 19 games from 140 to 149. She had uh, 10 games in the 160 to 169 range which is really good. So let's go back. Let's try another graph. The games for the first half of the season scatter graph. This is kind of an interesting chart in that it shows the uh, all the games Mindy bowled in the first half of the season. The green dots represent her score, but whether the team won the game or lost it, the red one, if th the green represents that they won the game. The red represents they lost the game. So that's kind of useful, or at least interesting. So let's go back. There's various other graphs, and we will be more will be added to Automatic Evelyn. Let's go back to the individual statistics. We're going to visit the hard copy. Go to sec Secretary's print version. And this is what the hard copy will look like. Anyone in the league can actually print the sheet from a printer at home. This is just the web version. If we uh, look at the print preview, you can play with the margins in Internet Explorer They have nine teams on a page. Page two would show uh, the rest of the other five teams, and then you've got the sublist. You notice Tony Zanglia's scores are in. So that's kind of a neat feature too that Automatic Evelyn actually generates a hard copy for you as well as a website. 